with AWS, customers can now connect distributed users all over the globe to NVIDIA Omniverse Enterprise Nucleus. With the breadth and depth of AWS, high availability and disaster recovery techniques can be implemented for Nucleus deployed on AWS. This includes load balancing, auto scaling, backup, restore of data in the Nucleus. All of this ensures teams can collaborate in real time with reliable access to their data. NVIDIA Omniverse is a revolutionary platform which allows creators and organizations to collaborate in real time on 3D designs and simulations. It offers a wide range of integrations and tools to enable teams to work together and to bring their ideas to life. One of the fundamental aspects of NVIDIA Omniverse is the ability to author content in your traditional application. Omniverse has connections to popular CAD tools like Autodesk, Revit, PTC, Creo, as well as content creation tools such as Autodesk 3ds Max, Blender, and various others. This breadth of support allows multifunctional team with conflicting data formats to collaborate in a common digital space in real time. NVIDIA Omniverse Nucleus is the database and collaboration engine of the Omniverse platform. With Omniverse Nucleus, Teams can have multiple live users connected using different applications at once. Nucleus enables diff efficient live synchronization between NVIDIA Omniverse applications and various other integrations. As a member of NVIDIA Service Delivery Partner, SoftServe and AWS have teamed up to provide Nucleus on AWS. With the help of this solution, which architectural diagram you can see on your screen, you can easily deploy the Nucleus on AWS with all the best practices embedded. Now let's have a quick look and summarize this architectural diagram. There are a few points I would like to discuss. Depending on your network security requirement, the AWS component of this hybrid deployment can be privately connected to the on-prem via VPN or even with AWS Direct Connect. And you can also deploy a managed private certificate authority with Route 53 for any private DNS resolution you want. Then you can also enable um, VPC endpoints through the private link to maintain the private communication between EC2 instances and your SSM agent, S3 buckets, and CloudWatch. Also, with this solution, an application load balancer is deployed in public subnet to redirect client request from HTTP to HTTPS and then to the Nginx reverse proxies. The ALB also balances traffic load across the reverse proxy server if multiple have been provisioned. And then just a bit more on the reverse proxy. The reverse proxy is an Nginx server deployed in a highly available. The main point to remember is that this reverse proxy routes the request based on pass to the specific Nucleus ports. The Nucleus server is comprised of Docker containers orchestrated by a Docker Compose tag provided by NVIDIA. Nucleus data is stored on EBS volumes. And when you deploy this system, AWS SSM run commands pull the Nucleus Docker container image from the NVIDIA's container registry and configure the Nucleus instance on EC2. Also, you need to have direct access to NVIDIA container registry even if you're deploying it in the private subnet. Then uh, we have some auto-scaling lifecycle hooks which are backed by AWS Lambda serverless function and that support runtime configuration of Internet proxy instances when they scale up as you can see on your screen. Associated with it, triggered by the nucleus auto-scaling group on terminate lifecycle hook, the nucleus failover procedure uses step functions. Then we also have some event bridge rules which are triggered periodically. The nucleus backup procedure uses step function and NVIDIA nucleus tool to perform incremental backup of nucleus data to Amazon S3. And then CloudWatch is used to aggregate the logs and also facilitate metric monitoring and alarms. This solution covers not only high availability with a lot of AWS services like ALB, Route 53, and auto-scaling group, but also 
um, has end-to-end -end support for backup and restore, which we just mentioned. To maintain a recovery time objective or RTO of a few minutes, this solution implements incremental backup by using automated configuration procedures, uh, which basically uses AWS Lambdas, auto-scaling groups, step functions, and also reconfiguration of the EC2 instances. And just to give you an example, when an instant failure is detected by the Nucleus Autoscaling Group, a new instance is automatically launched and the failover step function procedure starts. The step function procedure pulls the Nucleus backup from S3 and AWS SSM and NVIDIA Nucleus tool upload the data into this new Nucleus instance. Another cool thing is that um, the whole solution uses infrastructure as code by using AWS CDK and uh, code commit and code pipeline all in AWS. And big shout, shout out to the soft serve uh, because they have really done wonders with this solution uh, working hand in hand with AWS. So um, now we can easily and quickly deploy a nucleus in our AWS account and customize the solution for their business need. So if you're an NVIDIA customer and using uh, Nucleus, then I believe this solution is a godsend for you. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.